What's happening everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. It is Community Crunch 432 and uh, yeah, it's the Fear Ascended Extra Life and 5.4 News. So let's get into it people, let's get into it. So, if, you know, if you haven't already been on it, it is Fear Ascended. So we do have the Fear Ascended Halloween special has now dropped October 30th. Uh, for anyone who hasn't jumped in and checked that out, jump in and check it out, mate. It is actually pretty cool. They did decide to put the uh, Fear Ascended in the, in the normal game. It's in the normal game, mate. So you don't need to go through and do all the weird stuff of, like, going into Club Ark and all that. But, however... They do also have an in-club arc. So, you know, if you want to go in there and still do that, you still possibly can. But if you want to do it, jump in now because it'll only last to November the 13th and then it finishes, mate. She finishes at that time. It will finish. So they have event rates of PvP and PvE, two times harvesting, taming, experience and breeding all throughout this time. Small Tribes is 4.5 Harvesting, Taming, and Experience, and 4 times Breeding. And Arc Apocalypse is 5 times Harvesting, Taming, and Experience. They do have the event creatures. You have your Zombie Fire Wyvern, which I think you find on Scorched Earth, I'm pretty certain. The Zombie Lightning Wyvern, and the Zombie Poison Wyvern are all on Scorched Earth. And then you have the Zombo Dodo. So all that are your event creatures. You have your event skins. You're, you know, you got plenty of them different. All sorts of ones here. Skeletal Trikes. Skeletal Wyvern. Skeletal Rex. Skeletal Raptor. Skeletal D uh, Giga. You have the Ghost Bulb Dog. The Ghost Dire Wolf. Ghost Mantis. Ghost Reaper. Ghost Rex. The Dino Witch Hat. And scary dino pumpkin helmet skins. So there's plenty of skins there and costumes to get. There's many of things to get in this event and to unlock. Uh, you have your event skins. So you've got a lot of different skins here. I won't go through them all because there's so many of them. But you know, you got all your normal skins. And then there are a few new ones. You have your werewolf skin. You have your arrowhead skin. Axe head skin. And the sword head skin, all new this year. And then the rest of them are all the same from every other year. Event items. You have a horror species X. So if you come back up here, you'll actually see it in the picture right here. It does look pretty mad, mate. It looks pretty crazy. We're currently working on trying to get this in my playthrough. So I'm doing a little bit of a playthrough. If anyone hasn't seen that, jump on my channel and you'll see a bit of a playthrough of me just playing the Fear Ascended event, basically. Trying to go through it uh, as fast as what we can, just to try and not bore people out, you know what I mean? And then, yeah. But um, eventually, we will unlock that and we'll show you directly what that looks like. They have the usual stuff in here, your scarecrows, your pumpkins, all your, um, your little chibis. You got all them. Nothing new there. Uh, you got your emotes. You do have a new howl and a new sniff as your new emotes in that one. You got your dino wild, um, your, yeah, your wild dino colors. Or oh, nothing new in there, just your standard colors. And that is about it. So right now is the Extra Life 2024. If you have, you know, if you haven't seen it yet, jump on there. Definitely see it. And it has Ras Clark. So if you want to donate to this event i did show you this last time but yeah it is november the 2nd 10 a.m pacific which has already been it's already started it's already on and uh yeah to jump across to that really quickly i want to show you something mate i want to show you something these are some leaks coming out of it already so we have ourselves the wasteland war pack armor doggo so the armor doggo which is coming uh, into extinction, the Bob's Tour Tales extinction, and this will be your pet. So this thing comes with many different attachments that you can add onto the back. So each attachment will do different things. So I'll just try to run through them really quick for you. So your food basket 
will basically allow you to carry around more food than what you normally could. And if your character gets below zero, I'm pretty certain it is, uh, it'll automatically feed you. So that's that's quite handy. That's, you know, if you're out in the snow running around or something like that and your food starts dropping, this thing's going to start feeding you up. So that's pretty cool. You got your chibi basket, which apparently it's the same as upgrading your standard chibi. The only difference with this one is that you can upgrade two at the, at the same time. Instead of just doing one, you can now do two, which is pretty mad. Now onto the spyglass. They didn't really say too much about this one with the spyglass. Other than, um, yeah, they couldn't really tell us whether it was or it wasn't the same thing as like your tech binoculars or if it's something in between from like your normal spyglass and your, uh, what's that thing called? I forgot what it's called. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about, the magnifying glass, that's it, the magnifying glass. So yeah, it's, they're not too sure what this one does yet, um, but yeah, it is spyglass, so that's pretty cool. Now you got this one here, which is the rolled sleeping bed. So the idea of this one isn't, is basically so if you're running somewhere and you've got your sleeping bed on, on there, people can spawn to you. So it's like a, you know, it's like a teleporter kind of. So, you know, if you're out in the wilderness and like, oh, where are you, man? You're like, oh, just hit spawn to the bed, bang, you can appear. But it does have a massive cooldown. So it's only like a, a one-off kind of thing. And then, yeah, you got a huge cooldown before you can do it again. Now you have the ammo box. So this is basically so you can carry more ammo than what you normally could. It does have a weight reduction with the ammo. And so when you're firing your guns, it'll actually take the ammo out of your ammo doggo so that's pretty mad so that you know it's basically running around this is all i could think of is like a belt fed machine gun and he's just feeding you the bullets you know <laughs> which is pretty cool pretty cool on to the next one you do have the oxygen tank and apparently with this one it is what it what it looks like so it's basically your dog can swim with the oxygen tank and if you have your oxygen tank on you Basically, it'll double your oxygen tank, so it allows you to have double the amount of time before your oxygen tank destroys, and uh, yeah, so you can die for twice as long. So that's pretty cool. Now, on to the next lot. This one here, you got your bag attachment. So this one's basically just so you got more inventory. That's basically all it's for. It's like a bigger inventory. You can run around. Pretty mad, pretty mad. Now, the next one's a medikit. Now, this medikit attachment allows you to have like uh like a slow heal so if your health starts going down to a certain amount it will heal you and it'll uh yeah it's basically just slowly heals you which is pretty extra pretty awesome now on the next one you have the extra armor so this one will give you a little bit extra armor than what you'd normally have so this one will be good for like running auto turrets or something like that you know and you have that little bit extra armor than what you'd normally have um pretty mad pretty mad pretty cool now the spikes, I can't quite remember what the spikes were, to tell you the honest truth. I do think they were just like a, maybe like a defensive thing, you know, so when he comes he's got a bit more, um, you know, like he'll do a bit more damage than what he normally will. I'm not 100% sure on that one, don't quote me, but I think it's something like that. Now the meat sack, this one's actually quite interesting. This one is like a, um, if you were to get your creatures and things are attacking you, you can activate the meat sack and it basically acts as like a decoy. So everything will chase your dog instead of you. You mean like, so you'll be able to use this in little little bursts of time to be out there like, oh, it's not gonna last forever, but it'll last a little bit just to sort of get that heat off your mouth, allow you to get away and sort of, yeah, you know, <laughs> everything's chasing your dog and said, you're gonna want a lot of help on your dog in order to do that one. But yeah, that's pretty mad. And then you got your speed buff, a little jet pack on the back. And basically this is just to give you like those little quick speed boosts um, to get places that you want to get too fast. Now with all these attachments, you can only have one at a time. So you can't have all different ones at a different time. I'm not too sure if you can carry different attachments and switch them out, but I do know you can only have one at a time. So that is the Armo Doggo for the uh, Wastelands War Pack. Which seems pretty mad, mate. It seems pretty mad. So that's all that we've got for you today. I thought I'd get this out to you quick. Smash a like button. Consider hitting the subscribe button as always. I'll catch you in the next episode. See you later.